Also today, I'd like to ask everyone, please remember those families whose lives have forever been changed, for they will always miss those individuals who made the ultimate sacrifice. Today our invocation will be um, by an associate minister at New Presbyterian Church. Please welcome Jerry Newcomb. Good morning. Good morning. I thought I'd start this invocation with an actual quote from our first president, George Washington, when Congress realized that we now had a constitution and President Washington was sworn in as the first president under that constitution, they said, since we've had the opportunity to peaceably assemble and create our own form of government, why don't you declare a day of thanksgiving until Almighty God? George Washington said that's a great idea, and so he did so on October 3, 1789, and that proclamation begins with just this sentence. It is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey his will, to be grateful for his benefits, and humbly to implore his protection and favor. So let us do that right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to gather together peaceably to honor the memory of those who laid down their lives, who paid the ultimate price that we might have this freedom. Dear God, we thank you so much for those who served and Lord, we thank you even for those amongst us here who have served, or the loved ones here who have lost someone who paid that ultimate price that we might be free. Oh God, we know in the big picture, freedom is not free, and we must be ever vigilant in fighting for it. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to gather and to remember. Thank you for this day, a Memorial Day, a day to remember those who paid that ultimate sacrifice. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. amen. 